Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to remove a parking brake, disassemble and replace on a 2005 Dodge Ram 1500. First things first, let's get this tire off. Keep the tire on the ground, use a breaker bar to break the nuts and loosen them down before jacking Once you have all the nuts broken, jack the tire off the ground, giving yourself at least an inch clearance lugs take the tire off okay we got the tire off next we're gonna do is remove our caliper uh, to do that you're gonna need a 21 mil socket there's two nuts you got to break off one right here right at the top uh, can you see that right at the top 21 mil and the second Right here. I like to use a breaker bar and a socket. It gives you some leverage to really break them loose. Once you loosen them both off while using the breaker bar, I like to switch to my big ratchet using the same socket to loosen them the rest of the way. Now with a little bit of shaking and wiggling, you should be able to pull this whole face right off and then find a nice tying point just to tie it with. So I'm gonna need two hands to do this. Okay, so got it off. Didn't take much force at all, just shook it loose. Tied it up to my leaf springs in the back just to keep it out of the way so you don't pinch the brake lines. Next thing is remove the rotor. Now this could be uh, pretty tight to take off sometimes depending on how good your parking brakes are You might need to do a couple shakes. Maybe hit it hit it with a hammer um, Your overall goal is to get this to slide straight out so sometimes hitting it straight in Just don't damage your lug studs So after uh, Vigorously shaking this able to get the rotor off uh, I think it helped when I put it in neutral just make sure you're parked on a level surface you can see here my parking brake pads and these are next to go we got a couple things we got to do So overall, right behind here, in here you'll see two pins with pressure plates on them. What you're gonna need to do is take a screwdriver, place it on, and pop it off the pin. So there's one right back in here. And a second. See that plate? So in that case, we gotta pop it upwards. Also, um, these springs. So we got one on the top and two on the bottom. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clamp onto it here on this side and pull it off this bracket. And same. With them on the bottom. I don't know if you can see those. So I'll go ahead and give you a better idea when it's all set. Okay, so it can be a little bit difficult, but uh, as you can see, I got these these plates out on both sides. So here, here's the pin. It'd be coming from the back, coming in with this pressure plate sitting on it. So you gotta just punch it down or up, whatever its orientation is on your vehicle. I then got the bottom spring out. This is the one that sits right at the bottom. So just pinch it with some needle nose pliers. And as you can see, it sits in it like that. So you gotta take it out and unhook it. And also the uh, tensioner, adjuster. So now it's just sitting on the bottom. That just pops right out. Uh, the top's a different story. Uh, the two springs are on the top. So I got the first front spring out but there's still a spring in the back here. Um, and then I was just using a screwdriver, long screwdriver, whatever you got. Just kind of pop it out of this mechanism up here. Um, it's pretty uh, corroded in there and all wants to stick together. Not to mention that last spring. So I'll just continue on here and show you the end results. Okay, so finally got it off the mechanisms. Um, it can be tricky. Mine was really, like I said, corroded, rusted in there. So a little trick for the front piece, for the top, know how it hooks in like this. Well, the back one wanted to stay on. So as it hooks around, you see it poking through like that. So I just hit it from the front side and I pushed it through push it out and then I was able to get this side free and then obviously this was still hooked onto that side so you just pry it off the mechanism to get it off so that was uh, disassembling next step we'll be reassembling the new one um, I purchased new pads and hardware just to keep things fresh under there and uh, put it all back together now obviously when you take it off um, there's no front or back to these, but there is a top and bottom. As you can see, there's a big gap down here and the double groove. So in uh, this situation, my double groove is at the top, big gap is at the bottom. I think the other side is the exact opposite, but we'll see that later. All right, so I kept the orientations all the same on the old parts, and here's the nice shiny new parts. I set the springs up, the adjusters and the pads themselves all in the same orientation so I don't get confused when I put it back on. Also, before placing them back on, I just took the liberty to take a wire brush, that one right there, and just give it a good old toothbrush scrub. Because when's the next time you're gonna be in here? Probably not for a while. Might as well do what you can while you can before putting it all back together. It's not gonna make a world of difference. I just feel better doing it. So let's get going. We're going to start by placing this back, back on this guy, and then mounting the top into, into its position and hopefully hooking that side on, step one. Afterwards, probably get the front. I'd like to button up the top first before placing the bottom all in place. And then lastly, put in the pins back inside. So I'll try to do a step-by-step -step for you. Um, and let's just go for it. Okay, so you can see I got the top in, the bottom's still free. Um, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. This was a um, pretty big pain to do. Um, a quick tip I figured out, I'll show you on this one, was get this back spring in place and all together have it all together as one piece with your back spring and your two sides. Keep it as one piece, slide it over top of everything, 
tuck the spring down, keep it together, and get that spring back there. So it's already, that's already back there. Next, I hooked this up. You know, you gotta pull the spring, push it in place. And then this one was a pain, because it always wants to pop out. Um, pull it, get it where it wants to be, and then get your, your front spring on. Um, it's not easy, but you can do it. And now we're gonna move to the bottom. So next, we will put it in our tensioner and our spring. Okay, so there you have it. You can see the adjuster and the bottom spring in. So after completing your two top springs, move on down under here. Uh, start with your adjuster, place that in, and then uh, once again, the spring's probably gonna be a little tricky, it was for me. Get one end in and just get the other end in. Gravity was not on my side as both were falling out all the time. But there you have it, it can be done. Um, now just go in reverse, place your uh, rotors back on, calipers, and move to the other side. Cool. Thanks for watching.